Hello, my name is Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation, and in this video, uh, I'm going to show you an example of another open source project called Netduino Go. Now, Netduino Go is an open source hardware project. It has a variety of different modules that you can plug into it, and then utilizing the .NET Micro Framework, you can write code and interact with those various modules. Now, this is a very simple, uh, basic tutorial for the Netduino Go that I'm writing a blog post for. This is a video to go along with the source code for that particular project. What we have here is the main Netduino Go. And plugged into four of the sockets, we have four modules. We have a button module, two RGB LED modules, and then a potentiometer module here. What the example source code is going to do is when we plug this in and power it up, we're going to be able to press the button down here in order to turn on the LEDs. And the LEDs will then flash one in red, one in green, based on the uh, kind of setting there with the potentiometer. So we'll be able to speed up and slow down the flashing of those two LED modules there. Now, originally the code was designed for three LED modules. I realized that I had only ordered two, so I, I commented out the third one. And I'll try to record another video later this week when that third one uh, shows up in the mail. Let's go ahead and plug the module or the, the Netduino Go into our USB. That's the power source for now. And excuse the video while I do that. Now, as soon as we plug in, the board itself lights up and each of the LEDs for each socket lights up. Um, they turn off if there isn't anything plugged into the socket. So we can see that there's four blue LEDs lit up right now. There's actually a white one as well. It's hard to see that that's actually white in the video though. So what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to have the potentiometer there to adjust the speed of the flashing LEDs. And we'll go ahead and turn on the LEDs by pressing the button there. And we can simply turn those off again by pressing the button once again and back on. So once the video or once the LEDs are flashing, we can go over here to the potentiometer and turn that. Now I'm turning it counterclockwise right now. You can see that the flashing speeds up on the LEDs. If I turn it all the way to the left, it looks like the LEDs are no longer flashing, but they are still flashing. They're just flashing so fast that you can't actually see them in the video here. If I go ahead and turn the potentiometer back to the right, you can see the flashing slows down once again. Now, if we had the third LED in there as well, we would then have some additional time frame in there as the LEDs cycle left to right, uh, red, green, and then blue. So once again, we can go ahead and turn the LEDs back off or back on, pressing on the button. So it's a very basic introduction into a tutorial here for Netduino Go. In future uh, blog posts and videos, I'll try to include more advanced functionality within the Netduino Go. I'm hoping I can take, can take the Netduino Go project and turn that into version 2 of our .NET Nuke Foos project, which is a foosball tracking system that I developed using the original Netduino Plus, uh, and I have a video example of that out there as well. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful.